What is up, pipe smokers? Down in the main cave, as you can see. Sipping on one of my favorites, Old Scout 12 year. I just got three more of these yesterday, and uh, they're all different barrels. This one is from December 4th, 2017. It comes in at 54.5 proof, and I'm telling you, if you can find this stuff in your town, do not pass it up. It's it's uh, limited release, and once they're gone, they're gone. They're never coming back again. And I have, maybe I'll show another video, I have a whole slew of them. But uh, cheers. Initial real thick coating your mouth going down your throat cinnamon sweet oak like a molasses oh excellent excellent stuff anyway i'm finally making my cellar video uh i've been wanting to do it for a long time and uh i had some free time today and i'm gonna try and do this as fast as i can but unfortunately it's probably gonna take some time and, uh, of course, as I was talking about in my previous videos, this is not to show off or brag or anything like that, because I'll, t I'll be honest with you, there is lots of people that I know, not only in the YouTube community, but on Instagram and some of the forums that I'm on that blows my collection out of the water. So, uh, I certainly don't have the most, I don't have the least, it's just my humble collection, and, uh, I've probably been collecting for uh, five to seven years now, maybe. And, uh, well, the, the thing I'm more proud of the most with my collection is it's all 100% bought and paid for. I don't owe nothing on no credit cards or no shit like that. These people that, like McClellan's goes out of business and everybody tries to get whatever they can and max out their cards or whatever. Mine's all bought and paid for. And uh, as I told you before with me, I'm kind of goofy with my uh, collection. I, I try to keep the blends from the makers as close as I can together. But uh, this, what I'm going to show you, is probably about 75% of my seller. Uh, the other 25% I have locked away in my uh, storage cabinet where my, I keep all my ammo and uh, stuff like that. Uh, that's kind of like set it and forget it. I don't know it's here. Um, I'm going to be 49 this summer, and uh, I work, for, you know, for the government, and I can retire actually at 55 if I wanted to. But my goal is to have enough tobacco, bourbons, and cigars to last me the rest of my lifetime when I retire. So basically, what I'm going to show you now is everything that I have currently that I'm wanting to smoke whenever I feel like the urge, you know, to pull something out, and. Uh, like I said, the other stuff, a lot of it is the same stuff, just, you know, a lot more numerous tins stashed away, like the Esotericas, some of the McClellans, uh, a lot of the Virginia Flakes and Periques. And then I have a cedar chest also just jam-packed with mason jars full of bulk Virginia Flakes, uh, Peter Stokeby's, all, the, all those, Boswell's aromatics, just pounds and pounds, probably 50, 60 pounds of just bulk loose stuff that uh, is usually my everyday smokes, what I'll grab is stuff like that. Like I said, the rest of this is just what I have now currently. So uh, let's get started. As I said, I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible. This stuff here is basically what I have open right now and then I'm smoking, except for this Heinrichs. These are all new tins of all the various Dark Strong and all the others. I'm not going to go through and name everything, but uh, there's, the, of course, the bourbon I was just drinking, and there's what I was telling you about with the old Scout. <laughs> uh, okay, these are all new tins. The, the Peterson Holiday Season 2013, some Larson's 2013, a couple Silver Flakes, Cubes, uh, Hearth and Home. There's only a few, actually, Sutlifts that I like. As you can see, it's the number five. Uh, Patriot Flake, different things, various. Them are all uh, the bigger tins. 
some aren't in existence anymore. Okay, as you can see, old iron sides. I go deep in old iron sides. Vintage Syrian, HH Vintage Syrian, I got deep stacked of. Another one of my favorites is uh, Robert McConnell, Eng Oriental English. Ah, Oriental, sorry. <laughs> Love that. I got plenty more of that stashed away. This one's unique. This is one I got from a friend a couple years ago. Well, last year. Uh, he asked me if I liked it or not. And uh, never been open. Can't wait to try that sometime. Uh, just a lot of different loose stuff. I used to like Devil's Holiday. Uh, big deep stack of Bengal slices. And uh, the rest of some Drew Estates. Big stack of them. They're gone now. Uh, Robert Lewis blends. I like a lot of those. The Solanis. The Virginias. Okay, that's just stuff I got here on this side. Go ahead over here. I have to excuse the mess down here. I know this is a mess, but uh, you get the general idea. Uh, start over there in the corner. My Three Oaks Syrian, the original, and then as you can see, I got a couple whites, and the rest I have stashed away. Set it and forget it. McClellan's Christmas Cheer, a bunch of Virginia Woods. The Specials, Blackwood Flake, Star of the East, St. James, Blue Mountain. Okay, then we get crazy on the Frogmorton Cellars. Them are all the big tins. Across the Pond. I mean, I got them all. The different ones. I don't know which way to go here. Okay, these are all I just laid out this way so you could see them. A lot of these are just Corneo and Deal and uh, GLPs. Some you'll see that are deep. Scottish Scottish Flake, the Red Virginia, and the Scottish Cake, or the Scottish Flake, I'm sorry, are all really good. A little difference in these two. This is Swanee English Mixture from, I believe, 2017. This one is from 2013. A difference in the color on those two. Uh, like I said, these are just a bunch of uh, Corneo and Deal and GLPs. Now here's one I wanted to show you. Uh, Star of the East from, I don't know if that's 2013 or not, but uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the tin bulging on the bottom. I can't wait to crack that open someday soon. Uh, I said more various. Uh, I'm not real big on Burleys, but I do like the uh, Solani Silver Flake. Or the, sorry, Burley Flake. Brown Sugar, the HH Latakias. Like I said, there's several deep. A bunch of Samuel Goeth. Different ones. Like I said, I have a bunch of like the Virginia Flake and the 1792 and the Squadron Leader set aside. Forget about it. Bunch of my Dunhills. Uh, my two favorites, well, I should say three, are the Nightcap, the uh, Early Morning, and uh, the 965. They go pretty deep. Uh, of course, you know I like the Pelican. <laughs> I got all of those there. Then I got plenty more stashed away. Uh, Scudos, some different Esotericas. Uh, like the Balkan Sobrani, I got plenty of that. Uh, Penzance Tins, Special Ed Ikea, Brown Flake. They're stacked pretty deep. And the old Mississippi River Plum Pudding. I got a few more of those Mississippi River big ones stashed away. The uh, Plum Pudding and the Mississippi River Special Reserves. Them are the bigger tins. Uh, let me go around the back. All my Penzance and Stone Havens. Them are all Penzance and Stone Haven. That's hard to show all this stuff. 
when you're trying to shoot a video. You can see all that or not, but uh, I got a little bit more stashed away. There's a couple in soda beds, and the rest are uh, Stonehaven and Penzance. I have some of the white bags, the older stuff that are still left. There's one of Stonehaven. And there's two of the older white bags of Penzance. And I have several more of the white Stonehaven and the Penzance set aside from uh, years past in my cellar in the lock cabinet. But that's about it. That's a general take on... Uh, what I have available that's for me right now and like I said all the bulk that I have also and uh, I'm still trying you know new stuff I'm sampling new things here and there but uh, that's really about it uh, like I said what I have stashed away in my uh, forget about it cellar my closet is just mainly the same stuff a couple different ones but uh just pretend that they're not there, so I'll have them for years from now. And uh, that's about it. Try to make this short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Talk to you boys and girls later.